they're like $125. So I will be using it. That is so pretty. Very cheaply made little tchotchkes on the shelf, except I do see a Marjolaine Bustins. Let's take a peek here what's still coming out though, because I see a glass rooster. What are these? Look how cute he is. Ooh, 15. Basically like five dollars each. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Well, I was going to come to this store last night, which would have been their $1 color sale day, and I didn't get here. Had a little shift in the agenda of the evening, but I'm here today at a time I don't normally shop. So it's about, I don't know, midday on a Tuesday. Not my normal time to be here, but we're gonna go and see what that looks like on the shelves. Let's get shop done. Okay, let's get in here and pick out our lucky cart. Look, there's a lot of shoppers here today. You can kind of judge by the cart. We're looking for blue. I decided I was gonna come over to the toy side and just take a quick peek first and get it out of the way. Is that a dinosaur? I feel like it's a little, a little gingham. No, it's a kangaroo. The kangaroo, it's got a pocket. Dinosaur, kangaroo, okay. We got a human anatomy clay body sculpting kit. Okay, that, that looks fun. Like, if I was a kid, I, that'd be my, that'd be my jam. <gasps> Barbie clothes? Barbie, oh, that just reminds me. I have a ton of Barbie clothes. I need to do a whatnot of those. I just need to do an unboxing whatnot Barbie clothes, sell them in piles. I don't know anything about Barbie clothes. I mean, I know, I know the difference between vintage and current. I don't even think these are actually Barbie clothes in here. And I think someone else had the same same idea unless they just pulled like one thing out of there but it's $5.99 so we are not going to get that. So the reason I look through the toys is because this is where you are most likely to find some cool vintage things that get put up here. You also because this is in a back corner you're going to find things that people bring over here from other departments and they kind of plant it on the shelf here when they're done looking it up. Is he, he's not, uh, he's not how to train a dragon dragon, is he? His eyes are all scratched up. Oh dear. People are taking things out of baggies, it appears. Oh, probably these little guys right here. And every once in a while I find something cool, like a game or something for me and the kids. So I do check out the toy department. So that rug that I got when I was here last time did end up being a ruggable and they are quite pricey it turns out like that's a nice rug too um but the 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 non-slip thing that goes underneath and the reason it had those corners they're like 125 dollars so i will be using it sans the grippy pad underneath <laughs> I will just use it as a rug, but I'm super excited. I've always wanted one of the washable rugs, so that was an excellent score. So again, always look in every section of the store because you just never know what great deals you will find. Kind of like that pillow, but it's not anything super high end, so not worth a little elbow grease to clean it up. All right, I don't see anything exciting. Is that a purple shag? Or is it brown? Oh, it's kind of a purpley brown shag rug. It's, it's kind of fabulous for $35. Somebody will snag that soon, I'm sure. Let's go look over here. Oh, it looks like maybe somebody finally got that beautiful desk. That makes me happy, makes me happy. Let's see what this is over here. Sunshine, 
sunshine mirror. All right, I don't see anything over here we can't live without. That is so pretty. Look at that, I just wanna walk through there right now. This is a really, really big print. Like there is a grandfather clock and this is the size of this print. So we definitely don't have a place for this, but I really like it. It was a $300 print when it was new. Very nice. It looks like somebody's already snagged it though. Okay, this is giving me a little bit of a chuckle. You see it? It's not. It's definitely a very, very nice Seth Thomas grandfather clock with all of this parts. Probably needs a tune-up at this point in its life, but 50 bucks is a steal. That's a great price. Which leads me to answer a question that I get in the comments fairly frequently is why if I have a store, don't I buy that big stuff that I could just put in the store? And I do sometimes, I do, but I have to weigh how quickly is it going to sell to my local uh, customer base that comes in the store? How long will I have to give it space on the floor? Is it something potentially I could ship in the future if I needed to? All of those things go and, and, and weigh my decision on the larger items that I purchase for the store. But I do, I do, if it's worth it, I, I will get something to put on my stage. I'm just trying to use my stage for all of my back stock right now. These are some pretty little shades back here. So dainty with a little, little hint of pink. I don't have anything that those go with or I might be tempted, but they're very nice, very nice little glass shades for $3. That is a very, very reasonable price and I hope somebody finds them. Oh, we got some 90s lamps in here. Not super desirable. Look, it's still here. It's still here and now it's half price and I still, I still am not tempted. It's just not very attractive. Back here is normally like where the Scentsies end up this one is missing. See, it's a Scentsy. It's missing its little top. They get separated a lot of times. Something comes in a donation and this is in there and the lid is separate and it goes in two different boxes and then this might be somewhere else in the store though. If it was a super desirable one, I would definitely, definitely go look for it. We're going to head over to the front where all the uh, tchotchke things are. We didn't find anything on the way, so let's go see what's up here. All right, let's look on this shelf here. Nice piece of cut glass. Not super exciting. I don't know. It could just be another one of those days where I just don't get a whole bunch. This is Daisy and Button. Now, if that wasn't $5, I would pick it up because there's two and I would buy them as a pair and I could sell them as a pair. They come in colors and the clear unfortunately is not one of the more desirable, but uh, you know, probably for like $1.99 each I'd pick those up, put about $5 into them because the pair would sell for like 15 to 20. Let's look down here, please remove your shoes. I am glad not to have carpet to have to worry about that with. Again, there's like a 90s chicken. And just a lot of very cheaply made little tchotchkes on the shelf, except I do see a Marjolaine Bustins European Blue Bird. Only because bots don't understand context of words, so I can't actually say it. Uh, he's three ninety nine. It's very very cute. All right, this is one of those things. It's it's not yellowed. That's the yellowing of the packaging. I do believe this is a vintage piece. Came from Hallmark. I'm gonna go ahead and get that because we collect birdie things but I probably will have somebody who wants to buy that because many of my viewers also love birdies. I wish this wasn't so scratched up. That is Ruin Manning art on a little cedar box. 
but man oh man is that it's like gouged it's gouged it's not good that is a shame so many dolls so so many dolls no good dolls though in my opinion okay I see a basket back there that has some potential to be good let's see oh nope gosh the minute I got my hands on it I realized that was a very cheaply made basket <laughs> Let's see, any good little wood boxes today. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Wonder what was right here. That is a shame. If that was not broken, I'd probably get that. Also one of my favorite scriptures. And something I try very, very hard to live by. This a little cigar box my kitchen my rules no nope, we share we share the kitchen rules it's a joint effort in our house <laughs> thank you <laughs> no regrets just results yeah okay what is he is he supposed to be like a turtle or a bug, I don't know. I bought some of these the other day for Rachel and she was excited about it. There are $3, I don't even know if that's a good price. There are four of them and she'll paint them. So it makes a really interesting textured uh, painting. You know what, there's four of them. She can make four pieces of art with that for $3, I'll do it. This poor little teapot is missing its lid. Charles, somebody? Charles Vianson. I don't know if he's good or not, but he's missing his lid. I love these things. Use them all the time. I have plenty though. They make moving things so much easier. These are interesting. A little creamer and sugar with these little wood candles. Let's see what you say under there. It just says stainless chrome. Wait, does that say stainless chrome? I've never seen stainless chrome. I've seen stainless steel. So that's $2 and that's $2. It'd be $4 for the set. It's a pretty nice set in good condition. All right, we'll pick that one up. Give me a G. How much are you, G? Oh, G, you're not Christ. I think I'll leave you. This time I'll leave you. I know people have been asking about my letter wall. There's so many things, guys. There's just so many things to do in a day. We spent entire last week training a new shipping guy. Uh, so, you know, things like that happen and you gotta shift and pivot and go with it and get back on track. So with that, you know, little like luxury projects that you wanna do kind of get, they get pushed off. It's still on the list. It just got pushed back a little bit, but a letter wall. I mean, I have letters up on my stage. It's not like you can't buy the letters. I just don't have a wall up. I don't know why I kind of like, I kind of like that one. It's got a, it's got a nice look. It's eight bucks. I don't need to spend eight bucks on it though. Hmm. Let's see. Look for something good. I had people upset that I didn't pick up this temp Temptations. This one isn't the Temptations, or is it? I think it is. It just doesn't have the Temptations mark. I think there's more of this somewhere. Um, but honestly, Temptations is so big and bulky and heavy to ship. That's why I just... And that back when it was bringing really strong prices, that was okay because it compensated for the hassle factor but now that the prices have gone way way down you know and it and it takes a lot more time and materials to ship I just I can't justify the shipping so that is why you don't see me picking up the temptations so much that's a strange little thing they just brought out a new cart so I'm gonna have to look and see what they've already gone and put on the shelves that I already went through 
Let's take a peek here what's still coming out though because I see a glass rooster for $3.99. We'll grab him. And then I see a little, a little globe guy here. He's not priced. He's not priced. He needs a price tag. Okay, you know what? I think I'm just gonna, I'll put him in the cart and we'll get a price on him. All right, let's look through the plastics. I'll have to go back and do a little quick peek to make sure nothing came out that we missed that's super exciting. What's that? Just a cup, just a cup. Okay, nothing exciting. Okay, those are interesting. Little, they look like little recycled something, like recycled plastic almost. Because look, they're kind of like papery and why I don't know what what is going on here. But I had a lot of people that were interested in like some of the paper flowers on the wall of the store, and these are only two bucks each. So I think I'm going to pick those up. I mean, they have a nice little decorator look to them, and especially from a distance, you know, they, they could even like, eh, it could be decorated for Halloween too. You know, I'm just saying. That's a really pretty little pattern. It makes you, you are eggshell Nautilus USA. Uh, just always makes me a little bit uh, melancholy, if you will that the age of setting a nice table with china like that is over. I mean, I'm sure there's people who still do it, but for the most part, it's kind of a lost a lost thing in families. I would love to see that come back. There's a gravy boat in that pattern. It's 5.99. I wonder if it would have had like an under under plate because it probably did probably did. What is that? That's oh, Jerusalem. Oh, it's plastic. It's just a plastic little 3D Jerusalem, but it says, oh, maybe it's not plastic. Now that I feel it, it's not. It's like, it's like a ceramic-y kind of a thing. It's just odd. Pretty sure this is hand painted and hand done. It's five dollars. It's kind of cool. I'm gonna put it in the cart. What are these? Look how cute he is. Ooh, fifteen. Basically, like five dollars each. No. Nope. So I was talking to the lady who actually priced these, and when they do a Google image search, they come up with things like, "Oh, somebody sold, you know, is selling these for forty dollars for just one of them." But if you look at solds, if you look at actual realized prices, these are selling selling for five to ten dollars each. So fourteen ninety nine. That's a that's like an end user price, and they might bring that here. But one of the things is we can't see what they look like. I would have priced those individually if it were me, and maybe priced them at four ninety nine a piece. I think they'd have a better chance of getting that. And there's another cart. Okay, seems like I came the right time of day. This looks nice. We've got a very colorful golden lucky toad here. Schlitz. Beer glasses. Those are kind of cool. New Belgium 2017. Kind of cool. They have a very retro look to them, but they're dated 2017, so we know they're not. See what we got in here. Nothing. Pac-Man. I know there are some sellers of these and they do pretty good. It's not really my thing. I will leave that for somebody else. I do love him though. I love him. He is the best. Okay, this is this is a moment of weakness for $2.99. I'm I'm buying him. So this lampshade right here very very familiar because i do believe that comes off of a leg lamp it, is it christmas story a fragility leg lamp that is the shade right there but it's not here 
Okay, I think I'm gonna go back to that other store. I was at the other day where she said that they would really, really be stocking up the shelves since they were so empty. She says that's what they tend to do is if it gets really, really down, then they overstock. So we might go check that out. That is a very burnt out fluorescent bulb right there. What are these? Fashion, little fashion dresses and purses. Those are kind of adorable, but I don't think they have a lot of value. They're just, they're just newer, but they're cute. They're very cute. Let's see. Darth Vader. Elf, elf on a mug. And there's more mugs. Mm, oh, I like that. I like this coloring. Look at that marbling. Federal Bureau of Investigation. Ooh, that's kind of a cool mug. Who wants an FBI mug? It's $3. Probably a $10 to $12 mug, but I'm going to get it. That's kind of cool. I do a lot of business with, with what I call bread and butter items. Not super high value, but very consistent selling items. Euro Ceramica. Pretty. So it's a matter of just learning what your customer base likes to buy and finding those things that sustain you in between the big scores. Here's another FBI mug. See, this one isn't nearly as enticing as that blue one. This one doesn't look expensive. The other one looked expensive, so we'll go with that one. This is a handkerchief vase, I guess you'd call it. I always struggle. Is this a vase? Well, like, if it's not a vase, what is it? I don't know if it's signed or anything, but it is $5. It's very appealing with its texture and it's kind of a neat white. It's white, but it's, you know, it's kind of translucent, lets the light through. So I think we'll pick that up. Still got teacups here. Oh, I see something interesting. Look at this plate. It looks like a mosaic. Who makes you? It's made in Israel. Oh, they want $10 for it though. Beautiful, it's beautiful, but not for us for $10. This is Imari, and it is a signed piece. It is $15. Oh, it's another beautiful. Oh, that is so heavy. Stand by. Get that over here where it can look at the bottom. It looks very Italian, but it's not signed at all. Beautiful, beautiful piece for $15. And again, that's like something, could I buy it for the shop and have it there? I could. How fast will it sell? I can't tell you. It's not the type of thing that I sell on a regular basis. Is this more of that same pattern? Oh, it is. Eggshell Nautilus. I hope somebody comes and rescues this before it gets chipped up. Napkin ring. Uh, we got a little bat mug back here. It makes you. Kind of cute. Oh, this looks like a project. It looks like somebody's little project hand-painted mug. Okay, that is Treasure Craft down there. It's when Treasure Craft and False Craft kind of did their thing together. Look, this goes with it, and they've priced it separately, but I'm going to do that so somebody buys the whole thing. I actually already have that one, or I would be picking it up. So I do have some uh, chip and dips that I bring out when I do parties and entertain. I like to use all my vintage stuff, because that's what it's for, right? It's there to use, so we use it. And it's fun. Oh, please tell me they don't have these priced. Why are they selling these? Wait a minute. Ah, let's see. You know they have a price tag on it. You know they do. And I gotta say, if, if it's silly to price it, it's even sillier to buy it because you can order those free from the USPS. And I think technically, they're not supposed to be selling them. They are freebies. Barberware knives. Oh. Look at these little spreaders and like little Vegas chips and dice and cards. Oh, those are so fun. $3.99. Uh, I don't know. I, I just, they're not, they're not anything I need to be picking up. 
I'm doing good. I did, you know, keeping in my 10 to 12 item mode, but I don't need to get silly and pick up something like that. A little box. Oh, what's that? It's got a little magnifying glass and a letter opener and a pen set. And it's not priced. I can't tell how old it is. I think this is like a little giveaway, like one of those not high quality giveaways either. Oh wait, here, here it is. Magnifier pen, letter opener, loop, stylo, over letter. Products by Isabella. Is it like new old stock vintage? I feel like it is. For five bucks? Okay, maybe I will pick that up. And there's actually two of them. And you know how I like to buy in multiples and it's there. I had to make sure it was all there and somebody didn't like snag the pen out or something. But the original price tag on this was 40 bucks. So I should be able to get 15 to 20 for this. All right, pots and pans and such. Nothing, nothing that we need. All right, now we're in the mishmash tools, pet products. What are you? You are a fun looking toy. You are a Kong toy, which is really good. It looks very, no, no, you have been used. You have been used. I was hoping to find like a tag on it that it was new. I won't buy used toys for the dogs just because, I mean, you never know. You never know. I guess you could watch them, wa watch them, wash them. Um, but I just, I don't, I won't. Still plays. All right, let's see. What are. Don't know what you are. Eh. Oh, milk storage bags. Oh, that's a really pretty paper. I really like that paper. Hmm, five bucks though. Not a huge savings. All right, let's look in there. Office supplies and. I guess the crafty stuff is on the other side. We haven't seen that yet. But office supplies. Look at these little, it's like watch cases of some kind. I don't see anything too exciting. Noah just bought a bunch of these for uh, Peanut. Oh, I think has lost them all already. Because she goes and she drops them somewhere and she doesn't bring them back because she won't bring them back. Alright, not too much over on this side at all. Oh, look at that zebra. It's, it's a zebra pool floaty. I miss the pool, but I don't miss the, I don't I don't miss the pool maintenance. I gotta say that. I like just having a backyard now. And speaking of backyard, I now have room for a full-size cornhole game, which is right here. I am super excited. $7.99 each. Yeehaw! I'm going to paint it, do something with it, make it all fun. Yeah, I'm super excited about this one. All right, let's peek through Halloween, because you can see there's all kinds of stuff that ends up over in the Halloween, like a little terrarium. I saw a lot of people that wanted me to pick up that that martini decanter and glasses last time. I'm sorry. I mean the price point was just a little high. I know these Mickey gloves sell really well. They're five dollars for the pair. I think I can throw these straight into the washing machine and clean them up. So I'm gonna grab those. I do look through like some of the little cutouts and stuff because there's some vintage ones that can be worth a bit of money. Vintage Halloween is a highly, highly collectible item. I don't see anything here, but it's definitely, definitely worth a peek. Come over to this side and see, like here's a, it's a honeycomb, but this one isn't super old. This one came from the dollar store, but an older one, an older one could be worthwhile to pick up. Kind of like him, but he's not like super great. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, look at these ghost lights. These are fabulous. 
I might take these over and see if they still work. It's funny, we are just now getting all of our Halloween stuff put out at the good stuff. It's taken us a little bit because we had to get it down out of storage. That, blue, isn't blue tags on sale? The Harry Potter little makeup bag is only a dollar. We'll grab that. So if you are in the area and you're looking for Halloween, we now have our Halloween out and we have something really super fun that we have changed to. We've done away, I know, it's weird. We've done away with our dated discounts and now you can shop colors just like you do at Goodwill and other stores. I guess it was just too confusing to try to do the dates. It's kind of like making people do math. So we are on a color system now like all the other thrifts and we're gonna give that a go. Let's see if there's anything else here. I actually really like these. Ooh, they're so fun. What is going on with this monster hand here? Why does he look like something has shattered in here? Like there's something just not right going on with him. Oh, what is going on? Why, why is all that? I don't know, I don't know. Where did that come from? That was not here when I came by the first time. Look at him. Yes, he's missing a little paint. But he's only $5.99. We can touch up his paint. <gasps> oh, ho, ho, ho. look at that. They work for $2.99. Okay. Purses. What is this one under here? This looks interesting. So there was an easy way to look at purses. Look at all of the stuff on this. I think it's trying to look like a coach. I see some subtleties that make it look like it's trying to say coach, but it's got one of just those plain tags. It is $12.99, of course it is. Kind of a fun purse. I just, uh, I just for resale, I can't do, can't do the $12.99 thing. We'll wait, we'll wait and see if it's still here when it goes on sale. This one's cute too. It's just fabric though. Can I just pass you? Oh, of course. Yeah, go ahead. This one is I am heart. Don't know that one. Cute little uh, Sandra. Wait, Sandra Roberts? Sandra. Sandra Roberts. It's kind of cute. $12.99. Little Playboy Bunny tote. I'm sure it's $12.99. Hmm. Mondani. Oh, I see rips on the inside. Looks like that might have been a decent brand. What are you? Nijis. Nijist Habisha. Okay, don't know that one either. All right, no purses today. Let's go check out some jewelry. All right, this time I'm not going to forget things that I want to look closer at, like that little pin right there, the little amethyst earrings. I most certainly am going to get those little amethyst earrings right there, but we'll look just a little bit closer just to make sure they're real stone. That will be the determining factor. Little cloisonne earrings were kind of pretty. I sold the last pair of cloisonnes that I got, so we'll we'll take a closer look there. Those are interesting with their little dealy bobs there. I'm gonna see if those are glass. They might be glass. If they're glass, those could be interesting. All right, bracelets. Mm. Another little pin. It's kind of cute. I don't know. Little flowers make it look a little bit on the cheap side, so I'm not sure about that one. I think I will pass on that. Let's look through the necklaces. Yep. No. 
I like that fun colorful one but it's I can see I can see from here that it's very cheaply made look they're multiplying now <laughs> is, it, is that called spawning <laughs> what's that that looks like that could be coral so we're gonna take a peek at that one too all right and then those are kind of interesting too okay let's look at this oh it is older okay yeah what happened? And it, oh is it like real it's 4.99 okay yeah we're gonna we're gonna start our basket with that one okay these are real amethysts they feel very very good in my hand nice little stones for four dollars yep these ones are pure oh yeah those are clip-ons those are they're interesting but I think we'll, we'll leave those these are clip-ons look at those are kind of fun like rhinestones at the top and then the little okay those are those are fun for four dollars we'll we'll grab those let me see these little cloisonne guys right here the little purple yep also clip-on which is interesting I feel like clip-ons are making a comeback I know I know like some people wear them just because uh, they don't like the feeling of the needles in their ear anymore <laughs> yeah well, maybe yeah. that's it yeah sometimes that happens with customers okay I like those I like those for three dollars yeah. I'll get those okay, she's been sitting here for a while yeah <laughs> thank you and those funky yellow ones right oh, there yeah. yeah I gotta look at those yeah those are I know they're are they plastic? Kind of cool. I don't know. Uh, I think they are plastic. Yeah, because it's kind of like shadows yeah. right there in the middle. Well, I think it's oh, is it shattered or is it? Well, not like shattered, but you could but tell it's, like it was oh, there. right, right. <laughs> they're kind of fun. Oh, they're half price, right? They're just yeah, like blues, a. Yeah, blue's half off today. They're a dollar. Can I see that one? Let me. It's kind of. Sorry, I kind of put it on there for you. Oh, perfect. Look Thanks. at you. <laughs> oh, and then look at me. Oh, <laughs> It's okay. I'm gonna get those. I think I looked at these last time. Let me look at those again. Yeah, let okay. me. Cause they're half price now, so they're like little tortoise shell with with some some little bling on them. I think they're like little rhinestones, though. It's not like glitter. It's it's little rhinestones put on them. All right. I kind of I kind of like those for a buck fifty. Let me see. Let me. There. Get them to maneuver in my hand here. Okay. I just want to kind of show them like this. Let's see. Are you real? Oh no, you're like little. It almost looks like watermelon seeds. Oh my! Doesn't it? Isn't that what it looks like? Like little little dyed watermelon seeds. Oh wait, maybe you're right. Cause look at this one's so little. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they're little seeds. Okay. All right. We'll we'll pass on that one. Okay. We are heading to the checkout. If I can maneuver this cart that's gotten really, really heavy on one side. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, that was an interesting conversation. A uh, younger person telling me that, you know, the younger people are a little squeamish now about needles. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, clip-ons seem to be on trend because I sell a lot of them. Uh, I know I once had pierced ears and I could open the holes back up again, but why not just clip a pair on if I'm going to do earrings? Well, you know, things change. All right, we are in the checkout. Uh, stay tuned. I will go into a deep dive on all the things that I purchased, and then the regular recap will be at the very end now. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. And that is coming up. You know I'm the most excited about that cornhole game. I cannot wait to get that painted and play it in my backyard. Okay, deep dive coming up and Bougie will give his opinion as well. Well, it is that time again. Bougie, do you know what we're gonna do? Do you know what, you know what time it is? He knows what time it is. He says, this is my pistachio time, but he has to earn it first. But if he wants to go up there and explore, we're going to let him while we do a deep dive into the stuff that I bought. So I have to be careful because I already know there is something scary here uh, that I have to be aware when I go to show you this guy. But let's not start there. Let's start. Let's see. Let's let's start over here. 
Okay, so starting here, uh, these caught my attention because of these little wood handles and the very art deco look. Now this is a perfect example of, it's a vintage piece. It's not actually art deco. It's like art deco revival. These are a reproduction that was made mid-century to uh, mimic the 1920s, 1930s style. Very interesting. Chrome was really, really big in the mid-century. These are stainless chrome. That is also what caught my attention. Newer ones will be stainless steel. So um, unfortunately, they're still not worth a whole bunch, but they're really super cool. So I paid $1.99 each, so that's like four bucks. The set is worth 12 to 15. So still enough margin to make it worthwhile. I had hoped they were worth a little bit more, but very neat set nonetheless. Let's talk about the little uh, Marjolaine Bastin bird. These are nature sketchbook. Look that up, Hallmark. Uh, there's a variety of birds. This one is this. Again, the bots will not understand that I'm talking about a bird if I say that. But this is what it looks like, and it's got the little MB on it. Very, very collectible. This little guy right here is worth $15 to $20. I'm seriously wrestling with selling or keeping because we do have a little bit of a bird collection as well as our live birds. <laughs> uh, I paid $3.99, and I feel really good about that purchase. I have temporarily put Bougie back in the cage so I can show you hee-hee. Is it hee-hee? Hey-hey? Hi-hi? How do you say it? It's H-E-I-H-E-I. He's from the Disney movie Moana. Okay, are you ready for it? Surprisingly, he is worth about 15 to 20 dollars. He's a very, very popular rooster. Let's talk about the other roosters while we're over here. This is an art glass rooster. It is not Murano. Uh, it's just a really nice art glass. It's got kind of a funky little manufacturing thing going on here. Not super valuable. This was probably made in China, as are most of the little art glass animals. The, the Murano ones are going to just have incredible detail. You're going to see the quality difference. I, not to downplay the, the desirability of a piece like this, but these are a little bit slapped together. Uh, there's not a lot of attention given to detail. They're on a manufacturing production line to make them but still, my $3.99 purchase will turn into $15 to $20 on this guy. If he was Murano, well, then that would be like $50 plus. But he's not. He's just a cool rooster. I was so excited when this appeared on the cart that I'd already looked at. That means somebody had this and was going to buy it and then put it back. Probably because there's a little bit of damage to the comb and there's a little bit of damage here. Now, what's very, very disappointing, and I really hate when thrift stores do this, and we don't do this at the good stuff, is it was taped. It was taped together. And then when I opened it up, you got it. Big old Chipper Rooney right there on the underside of the lid. So that does diminish the value of this piece a bit. What is saving him is the fact that that chip is not visible from the outside. This could be touched up. I do believe this one is Westmoreland glass and not the Ellie Smith. And that is because the Westmoreland, he's given me some weird vibes right there. The Westmoreland, it's hard to take me seriously when you got that face right there. Uh, the Westmoreland are the ones that generally come painted. And what you look at is the tail style, the foot style, some of the details, and that's how you can compare the two. Now, if he had not had that damage, he'd be worth about 40 bucks. With the damage, I'm gonna shave some off and still think I can get 20 to 25 for him. The little glass globe is really cool. Uh, I almost, I don't know what I was thinking when I almost left this on the shelf, but I did go ahead and pick it up and he sold it to me for, get it, 99 cents. Oh, I love my cashiers at the Goodwill. 
Uh, so 99 cents and it's worth about 15 to 20. This would be really great, like on one of those little stands that I like to buy. Yeah, you agree? Yeah, uh, Bougie agrees. So um, we did go ahead and pick that up. That was a good little pickup. This is another piece I, I went back and forth on. It's very, very unique. I can only find one of them that it is actually even listed and they list it as Antonio, oh, wait a minute, let me find it on my little cheat sheet, Antonio Art. It's a plaster, high relief. Uh, this says, I don't know, H-A-N-P-I-N-I, -N -N -I, and it is Jerusalem, and it's on wood. As you can see here, it is vintage. I only paid $4.99 for it. It's not a super high value piece, 15 to 20, but I thought it was definitely worth doing a little rescue on. These were probably something I shouldn't have bought. There's just something really appealing about them though. I don't know what it is. They just speak to me. They were $1.99 each. They come from Hobby Lobby and they were about $10 each at Hobby Lobby. So I'm figuring I could get at least $5 a piece for them, maybe a little more, depending on whether they're still available at Hobby Lobby at that price or not. A lot of times things that used to be there that are no longer there actually sell for more than when they were there. But I don't know, these could be dipped. I, here's some things I'm thinking. Either a Halloween theme, dip them in like black or orange or put little spiders or something on them, or I was thinking tie-dye. How cool would these be if you could like do some kind of a, a like a tie-dye kind of a dip kind of a thing? I don't know. They have possibilities. They have possibilities. FBI mug is just cool, and I'm sure somebody will appreciate this. It paid $2.99. I love the blue marbling in it. That is my favorite. And I will tell you right now, the FBI is my friend. They have helped me with a situation, and I'm very, very thankful to them. And uh, this, as I said uh, earlier on, it's a $10 to $12 mug, not super high value. It's just super cool. Another super cool piece is this handkerchief vase. These come in all sorts of colors and, and different like designs. I love this. I'm not even sure this is like a traditional riggery or if this is just part of like, I don't know if they made this in a mold. I don't know, it's very, very interesting. And it's got some translucence to it so you can see through. Look at that, I will clean that out. But I just, I just loved it, I loved it. Bougie loved it too. Yeah, I like when you say yeah, like I like, I like when you have an opinion. Yes, it's very good when you have an opinion. People like that as well. He's gonna come back out in a minute. Uh, so the handkerchief vase, um, I'm thinking 25 to 30 on this one. If it was signed, it would go up from there. This piece I cannot find a signature on. It's just cool. I found two of these little desk sets. I haven't tested the pens. I guess I should. Let's see. Oh, pen works. Okay, the pen works. So we have a working pen that you can probably refill the ink. Oh, let's close it. There we go. And a letter opener and a magnifying glass, which always is very handy. Uh, these little sets, I almost didn't get them because they appear to be kind of like a giveaway type item. But when I did a little research, huh, I find that they sell for like $20 and up. And sometimes they sell for that much with just two of the pieces here. So I paid $4.99 a piece. I got two of them. I will put them for 20 bucks. I will be very, very happy with that margin. And I think they will sell quickly because they're in a very attractive kind of a cherry wood box. And uh, they got the little cherry wood, I think it's cherry wood, handles, and they're super cool. How fun are these guys? I was so surprised when they worked. These are blow mold ghosts, lights, and they are vintage. Uh, there's only five in the string, which was kind of a bummer. I am debating whether I am going to keep and use these or if I'm going to sell them. I think I will put them in the shop. And they'll be one of those items that if they don't sell, I'm not gonna be super disappointed. 
I will find some place to use these because here's the thing with me and Halloween. I like, I like friendly looking stuff. Look, ghosts with smiles on their face. I'm good with that. It's fun. It's whimsical. I don't get into the, like the deep, scary, horrible, bloody, like any of that. Nope, not for me. I just have fun with it. And uh, these guys are fun. The Mickey hands, I have not attempted any cleaning yet. I need to. I'm sure it's a common problem with these Mickey hands that they need cleaning, but I know that they sell for upwards of $15. 15 to 25 is about the average range. So at $5, these are a good pickup. I am gonna throw them in the washing machine and see what happens. Wish me luck. All right, Harry Potter. I mean, this for me was kind of a no brainer. Every time I pass up a Harry Potter item, I, I get scolded, I get in trouble. I'm pleasantly surprised to find that this little Harry Potter makeup bag that I got for a dollar is, is worth 15 to 20. I did, I did the research, I looked and looked. There's only been one sold for like 15.99, but there's none available. And when there's none available, you definitely can get the past price, but you can even ask more sometimes. I'll probably just put it at 15 to be fair, but, but yeah, that's a, that's a desirable one. And here is my fun with the jewelry. Now there is one pair of these earrings that ends up being something that I had no idea that it was. And it's super desirable. And I passed it up a couple weeks in a row. So super excited. Uh, most of them are in the 10 to $12 range. These little cloisonnés, little clip-ons, about 10 bucks. These little amethyst. Probably a little closer to 15 on these because they are real amethyst stones, little crystals that are real glass crystals. So those are pretty nice. Uh, these things. I actually haven't found these anywhere, but they are so wild and fun. I do believe those are a good 10 to $12. These little, they remind me of jellyfish is what they remind me of. Now I, again, it, there's so much information on Google that is incorrect and sellers that call things what they are not. So this jewelry really, really takes some studying and some learning. And I'm kind of leaning towards these being vintage because of the the design of the clip-on. Um, so, but I still, I'm, I'm not super sure on these. So I'm gonna ask about 15 for them. And if they end up being worth more, then so be it. But I, you know, I didn't overpay for any of them. These are the ones that totally surprised me. These are Joan Rivers. At least that's what I found. I don't see a mark on them, but then my eyes are not the greatest. It could be there. Uh, but I found a pair that they listed them as Joan Rivers. So I went and dove a little deeper and I found several pairs of these listed as Joan Rivers. So unless somebody can tell me differently, I do believe these are some vintage Joan Rivers tortoise shell and rhinestone clip-ons. So 15 to 20 though, doesn't make them worth like a whole lot more money, just a super fun fact. And this pin has stumped me a little bit. I have not been able to find anything. I do believe it is older based on that clasp and the construction, it's got I don't know, just something speaks old to me on this. I could be wrong, I could be totally wrong. I'm hoping some of you will let me know down in the comments what you think. I do also believe it is missing one little rhinestone right there. There's like a spot where it looks like one more rhinestone could have gone, but it's not part of the flower or anything, so it doesn't detract from it. So that's my little jewelry haul. So what do you think? Was it a good haul? Did you like it? Yeah? Um, do you think like you've done your job and given your opinion sufficiently? Or do you have more work to do? Were you afraid of the chicken? <laughs> All right, we'll sign off now so you can have your pistachio. You, go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one. Say bye. Bye. Goodbye.